Hello, my name is Jay, and about four months ago, I followed the Verger's Guide to build a $2,000 gaming PC. Only one slight problem. I broke my hardware. That's right, I followed the guide, and I broke my hardware. Now, before you ask, obviously you know that this, this guide is clearly wrong. Why are you following the, the guide? Well, I was going to set out to make a video. At the time, The Verge was claiming that everything was factually correct, and I set out and I wanted to say, hey, you guys are wrong, and here's the proof. And so I set out and I made my most popular video on this channel, where I set out and I followed their guide, and not only did the system not post, later that day I actually found out I broke hardware. The system would no longer post. Whether it be because I bent pins, or because I think I put a little too much thermal paste on there, actually less than they put, but one of the th reasons I followed the guide and clearly something bad had happened. And so I'm going to summarize what I want in this video. Simply one thing. I'd like the $100 that it cost me for this system to go donated, be donated to charity. That's right. I don't want a refund for my mess. That was clearly my doing, my fault. I knew what I was getting into. But since, since this system or this motherboard and CPU did cost about $100 at the time I got it, I want that money to go to where I got it. And I have a really nice noble cause for it. So, back a couple a couple months ago, I was volunteering at a charity called the Cramden Institute, and it's basically a place in Durham, North Carolina, that allows um, and basically takes and recycles old computers to give to the unfortunate kids, kids that you know may not have the money to go buy a computer, um, may not even have access to like Google Docs or you know any word processing, so they can't write essays at home and they have to go into after school and stuff. And they reward kids, you know, that are working really hard in school and they give them computers. And a hundred dollars would actually be a lot. You could maybe get two or three kids that actually get a computer from it. And obviously a hundred dollars doesn't seem like a lot, but really it would be something for a couple kids. That would be really nice. And obviously with my, you know, small influence on this really joke of a channel, I think that it would be amazing to see something, me do something at least positive with, you know, the small little bit of influence that I have. So before we get too far into this, let me explain what I did in that video. As I said, The Verge was at the time claiming, you know, any anything that was, anybody that was calling them out for inconsistencies, factual errors, was a racist, and they just labeled everybody a racist. You know, I'm not going to get into that. Um, I'm really not going to get into that, honestly. I, you, you should be responsible for your errors. Um, this is 2019. Oh, well, this was 2018. Um, you know, when you make a mistake, you can't just blame it on something. You, you made a mistake. Um, so, yeah, I basically broke this simply because when I was following the guide, the, guy, the dude, I think it was, his name was Stefan or something, he did not really give any detail on how to put the CPUM, so I just threw it in there because he's pretty much put it in any way that fit, and obviously that was not the right way because it didn't say anything about matching the triangles. I clearly know what I'm doing, but I was following the guy, and like anybody else, I was trying to be the clueless person, um, and so I did that, and that might have been the problem. I don't know. It was one of these two, um, and I put the thermal paste on there, and the thermal paste, uh, of course, uh, kind of oozed a little too much and got into the socket as well. And when, you know, I finished putting everything together, it did not post, which, okay, big deal. The system did not post. There was a couple other issues, too, I believe. I think the I.O. wasn't connected. Long list of things. Okay, not a big deal. Something was wrong. Okay. So then I went through, and I threw it in another system because I had some other video planned for that day. I was going to think, I think I was trying to make, like, a budget system or a server or something. And I threw it all together, uh, with, you know, the same setup, same system that I've been using before. By the way, all these parts work. You can see that on my channel. I have plenty of videos with all these parts working. And then after that video, you won't ever see another one of these videos with this motherboard uh, or CPU simply because it's broke. And you can clearly see that on my channel. And so I threw all the parts together, and lo and behold, it doesn't post. I spent about a good three hours trying to figure out why this system did not post. And then I realized, after I take off the CPU and stuff, take out everything, that it really doesn't look like there's bent pins, but there's a lot of thermal paste in there. And I thought I cleaned it all up. But no, thermal paste all in that sock. Actually, around the edges mostly. But So I spent about the next, I don't know, hour trying to pick through there with a toothpick, trying to clear out all that thermal paste, and it still does not work. I was using the Thermaltake TG7, which claims that it's not thermally conductive. I, I don't know. I don't know what was responsible, but I do know the system did turn on beforehand. So most likely, whatever happened in that Verge video, it's most likely one of those two things. And I'd be willing to say that. So if the Verge really is, you know, I don't know, 
calling out a bunch of YouTubers, you know, copyright striking a bunch of YouTubers, they should also be willing to accept the fact that they messed up and they should be able to be responsible for the mistakes they made and, you know, the damage they caused to my system. So therefore, they should be willing to pay the $100 if, you know, give it to charity, of course, but, you know, be willing to pay the $100 that it cost them, um, or cost me, sorry, for the system. Um, so I think that if anything I was to ask for this video, I mean, I'm not in it to make any bucks. I'm really not any bit interested in this. I really would like to see something. Uh, heck, all the money that goes from this video, any ad revenue I get from this, anything whatsoever, heck, I'll turn off ads. Actually, you know, we'll keep ads and then I'll donate all that money to charity. Anything I get off of this video goes straight to that charity. I bet The Verge won't even come close to matching that. Um, so I think that that would be something extremely positive to come out of that incident. Um, now that The Verge has decided that, you know, they want to censor... Um, not uh, support or not really uh, positive media of them. I think that it's about time we also talk about the fact that this is really not um, this is really bad, and I, I feel bad for anybody that actually ended up breaking something. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, maybe check out that video too because everything's on that video. So every bit of factual evidence, you know, I did follow the guide. I had the guide pulled up. It was 100% followed. So. You know, you can see that clearly I did everything they said, so there was no messing anything up. So yeah, I've got, and I also ended up did getting some other hardware. So I, you know, I have extra hardware um, from you know other bits of the channel or you know working and stuff that I was able to you know replace that hardware. So don't feel bad for me. I really am fine. Um, I just would like to see something positive and that money go towards something good uh, than this joke of a channel. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and uh, goodbye.